Look guys, I told you in yesterday's video, Billy's still alive. He's alive. Still alive. He's not so hot, but he's alive. He's uh, eating these cough drops and these cough drops. And I wanted to show you guys something. So, these are the glasses you guys know I always wear. See that right there? That's what happens when you weed whack and you hit a rock in the lens. Falls out, protects your face, and the glasses split in half. Yeah. That's why, kids, you should always wear safety sunglasses, which I usually do, but safety, there's the lens. Safety, kids. But, what's that, Billy? I said, remember, kids, safety second. Yeah, well, it is what it is around here at Countryside Lawn. Let's get some mowing done. Apple day keeps the doctor away. My nose is Status good. check. How's Billy feeling? Good. I feel great. Wonderful. You're just all stuffed up? Yeah. Billy's got the vid. <laughs> no, we don't. Everyone asks me, did you test Billy? Does he have the vid? And I go, start with a sore throat, and then it went into body aches, and then he kept getting chills, which are clear signs of the flu. And I knew that, knew that it was probably the flu because I've had it before. Many Influenza times. Influenza B. Influenza B. You got B West now. The A is the worst. B is like the second. And <laughs> I had that back when I was in like middle school. You got West now. You got the bug virus. One of the, the bugs. Bug virus. One of the bugs. You got herpes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, hey. Uh, guess what? What's the difference between herpes and love? Herpes last forever. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys gotta check out this golf ball we found. Bring it in close, Billy. So it says pervert on that side. <laughs> and then it has, <laughs> it has this guy on this side. I don't know, somebody made this golf ball and whacked it on the golf I course. I don't even know when we found this. We, we found it a while. few weeks ago, like a month ago, a month and a half ago, but I always forgot to show it. I wanted to show it on a video. Isn't that hilarious? So either somebody has some friends that are really screwing with him or this guy really is a creep and somebody did this just to get it out there so people would see this guy. I don't know. Either way, it's funny as hell. And I think I'm going to make one with Billy on it. I'm not, wow. It ain't going to say pervert, but I'm going to make one with Billy on it, and I don't know what I'll put on there. There goes your knife. It went down the side over there. <laughs> Useless facts with Billy. 
I think he's been watching Animal Planet a lot. Mm -hmm. Grilled pork chop. I learned that in the old schoolhouse. Tell the good folks on boob tube. So, camels, most people think it's their tongue that they hang out on the side, like, and it just, like, kind of flops around. And it's actually their stomach. And I can't remember why, but I think it has... Okay, so so basically they're throwing up their stomach. It's cold, but I'm I'm pretty sure. It's such a good thing I don't have a weak so, stomach. I'd be throwing up this pork chop on you. So along the side, we're gonna you know that right. bone you have right there in your wrist. You know it really sucks. If you lag it. Oh, <laughs> dude, I almost got it. <laughs> so. Hold on, Did you giggle it? Hold on. Oh wait, you have a stupid iPhone. Okay, so apparently it's not their stomach. It's called. It's a pink sack. It's called a doula. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a doula. It's a family Expandable channel. sack in the lower part of the soft palate, usually seen <laughs> in adult male camels. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Game over. Alright. We're done. What other useless information did you say you have? Oh. Let's get some clean so, useful information. Squirrels, mice, rats, gophers, beavers, and other rodents are incapable of throwing up. Because <laughs> they can't get married. <laughs> Can snakes vomit? I don't care. There's no, <laughs> the only good snake's a dead snake. They do. They vomit. I don't care. Nope. They vomit. Do fish throw up? Those evil slithering electric poles. Nope. Die. Fish up chuck their lunch. <laughs> <laughs> can it's snakes? Too... Can snakes fart? Snakes pass gas once in a while. Come on, really? <laughs> yeah. Boy, I think you're on the wrong animal planet. <laughs> Jeez, you're going to bloom 100 miles an hour. Jesus! Man. Whoa! He's booking. Jeez Louise. That was sugar. Or whatever they call him. Can a fish drown? And... We were talking about that the other day. Technically, they do because they have a lack if they have a lack of oxygen. So technically, yes, your fish can drown. We were talking about that the other day. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> when a girl calls you up and says, "Hey, you want to go out tonight?" I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. Sorry, I can't. My fish drowned. My fish drowned. <laughs> My fish died. <laughs> can fishes cry? No, fish can't cry. Again. Can a fish get never been drunk? Married. <laughs> fish get drunk too. Working well, then yeah, maybe they have fish, been married. A common fish. So, Mr. Spencer Lilly from Bow Enterprises told me last night at the bottom of the throttle control there's a nut right there and it's a lock nut with a bolt and he said just tighten it up and it'll fix that throttle control problem I had that I showed in yesterday's video. And I did that this morning and he was 100% correct. I've been hitting some pretty 
crazy bumps today on different properties and uh, that throttle has not moved not one time it has been perfect all day long so thank you to mr. Spencer Lilly from Bow Enterprises uh, you might want to go check on your brother Ryan he just almost died like literally mowed a section and within three minutes was right up the way from the section he just mowed and there's like a two car pile up right there yeah he just sent me a video of it pretty crazy you might want to check on him make sure he's uh breathing all right not gonna have a heart attack billy how you feeling good yeah you feeling any lighter yeah we're at our house we just got done mowing our house and the one next door and got everything weed whacked cleaned off we definitely need to trim the bushes but uh yeah so we got it all cleaned up here and it's looking beautiful um i think i want some new patio furniture for our back patio i want a bar i want one of the bars they set up and then there's no outlets back there though we got to uh we got to oh, work there there's an outlet on the back patio pretty sure i'm pretty sure you're wrong pretty so sure. We need to work on getting an outlet out there so we can put a bar fridge out there, which I already have one. It's at the shop from when we had to build our makeshift apartment when we were uh... scrimmaging around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We well, need survival. Bible knife, Bible knife, Bible one hand, knife in the other. Some people have been carrying like that for years. Anyway, um, so we. <laughs> Bible and a crucifix. Uh, and crucifix, a Bible and a knife, you know. Depends on who you're around. You act a certain way. That's how some people are. Anyway, so we, anyway, we have a bar fridge. So we need to put that back there. I want to put the actual bar back there. And we already have a table and chairs. It's all right. Nothing great. But we have, uh, we have our cornhole boards back there. And. We need to set up like a full party center. Our yeah, basement. Baby. A what? Throw the barns and everything downstairs. That just gave me an idea. <laughs> Put a pool table down there. Pink... The old original Donkey Kong. You're sending me a snap. You know what I'm talking Spencer, about? Spencer, that's your brother sending me another snap. See, he almost died. Check on him. We gotta go.